What is going on, Team 10 Nation? My name is White, and in honor of the new decade, I'm gonna start another $5 game collection. Uh, this isn't really five bucks, it's two bucks. I just needed a prop. We did this about two years ago. It was a really big hit. The collection actually ended up being awesome um, towards the end of it, and I had a bunch of money, and then uh, a bunch of annoying things happened in life. I had a roommate move in, I had to downsize. Uh, I got a million Nintendo Switch games, and I got a bunch of these 4K movies, and I had to get rid of a bookshelf. So long story short, I sold about 50% of that collection, and I have about 50% of it, specifically the GameCube games, in storage boxes out in my garage. When I move to a bigger house, I plan on putting all that stuff in. I'm going to get a much bigger game room. Uh, this game room's not that big, and now I'm sharing it with someone. Uh, they're putting their stuff in here, uh, including an AR-15 sitting over on the ground, which is weird. So I'm gonna start a new $5 game collection. I'm gonna clear off at least one of these shelving units behind me. Uh, I might even go to Home Depot and get a different shelf and put these Nintendo Switch games maybe in like a storage box or something. Uh, I wanna start the collection anew. I wanna have fun stuff to do game hunting wise and it's gonna be significantly harder now than it was in 2016. A real quick recap of the rules, anyone that might be new to the channel, I'm gonna start with $5 cash and I'm gonna build up the biggest video game collection I can via buying and reselling. Uh, the objective is to buy big bundles of games, sell two or three of them for money back, put the rest on the shelf, and just keep going until we get a big collection for only $5 down. Now, the last time we did this, I kinda of cheated. I had the finds from a garage sale. It was fantastic. It was like three GameCube games or something, or a couple GameCube games, really high in value, and I, uh, already had those when I started the collection. Today we're starting from nothing, absolutely nothing. I have $5 to spend and we're gonna head out uh, to the local thrift stores and I have absolutely no fines in the pocket yet. So the goal today is like a $10, $15 game um, at Goodwill. Optimistically, they will be uh, $2 still, so maybe I could even buy two. Our goal today is not to collect anything, it's simply to get money so that we can start playing ball. And I'm gonna hit the local thrift stores and we're just gonna keep going all the way down through Tucson until we find something we need. We'll start off with the local closest one, of course. And then we're gonna sell whatever we get and we're gonna have nothing and then we're gonna use that money to buy future stuff. If you guys enjoy the $5 game collection, which I know everyone seems to love it, drop a thumbs up right now. I wanna hit 500 likes. Let's go begin hunting. So a nightmare, nightmare start. Uh, already regretting doing this series again. That's part of the reason I stopped was uh, content, stuff to find. A million people in this Goodwill, probably five or six video games total. And uh, you guys saw they're all like, it's all like dance, shovelware. Um, there was that Rockstar table tennis game I know for a while you could get like 10 bucks for it. It doesn't look like you can anymore. So uh, I had to pass off to the next Goodwill. Also have a Salvation Army and stuff in the rotation. We have a bunch of stuff in the rotation today. Um, I'm just trying to get that one item to get us money. So it's a, it's a disappointment. I was hoping to find something here um, or at least stuff to look at. But like a million people in this Goodwill, it's the middle of the day on a Tuesday, and there's a million people evidently that don't have to work. Um, there it was a lot of old people to be fair, but there's also like six employees, um, which I've never, I always see like one or two at, at a Goodwill. Today there's a million of them, so obviously they're making some decent money here if they can have six people uh, milling around in the store, but disappointing. Let's get to the next Goodwill and see what we can get done.
Once again, uh, 150 people in here. Literally. What's going on? This is so crazy. No one does no one work in Tucson? All these UMD movies. Straight nostalgia. Not worth anything, but really cool to see. Remember bringing these to high school. Not looking good again. This is cool. This is really cool. And then more UMDs over here. Sports games, this is interesting. So it's missing the game disc. So I'm tempted on this Assassin's Creed thing. Uh, sold listings recently for like 50 bucks. Um, but that's with a bunch of other stuff that's missing. This doesn't even have the game, it just has the soundtrack. So right now I'm looking for this figurine um, that came with it. I'm in this little the toy department here. Trying to find the figurine that came with it. Um, that would be a huge uh, plus. Also, no, of course, no price tag. So, I don't know. It's one of those things I could put on eBay and it could sit there for months and this, the whole uh, $5 game collection could be ruined day one. But uh, if it's like two bucks, it's probably going to be worth picking up because we'll still have money to buy an additional game. All these stupid, like, portals. That bubble really, really burst. So it worked out uh, pretty well. I picked up that Assassin's Creed um, for one dollar. I kind of, I guess you could say, tricked the employee. I went and showed him that it was a CD, uh, so I got the CD price. So a special edition case and the soundtrack. I could pick up the game for a couple bucks on eBay, probably two or three dollars disc only, uh, to complete it and then try to sell that. Uh, either way, I have four bucks left, which is still um, at the most the price of one game at Goodwill. So really, I didn't, I haven't lost anything uh, in losing one dollar. So it's not the end of the world. Um, we're gonna go check out a Salvation Army, I think, and then uh, I might go down to another Goodwill, um, and then I might go check out the pawn shops. But I don't think I can get anything for four bucks at the pawn shops. Uh, this huge risk, though from an eBay standpoint because it might sit for months and uh but we're only we're only dollar in so again it doesn't matter I, I can still go buy a game at Goodwill with this four dollars in my wallet so let's go check out the next store and see if we can get I want to get something quick to sell man even if it's only 10 bucks 12 bucks I want to get something that's going to sell right away uh I did see that Atlas dodgeball game on the Game Boy Advance which I know actually used to be a, a pretty quick decent like 10 bucks uh, sell, but it seems like the collector's market for Game Boy Advance has kind of died out. I know there's a ton of uh, bootlegs nowadays, a ton, probably more bootlegs than authentic Nintendo games for popular uh, Game Boy Advance games, specifically like Pokemon and stuff. So you got to keep an eye out for that. But uh, thought about buying it, it was three bucks in the glass case. If it was like a dollar or something, I would have bought in it uh, just to try to flip for like six dollars quickly. So I'm going to head out to the next uh, either Goodwill or Salvation. We'll see. I know you're desperate when you're at this show hole. Not a good sign when Blu rays are in the case. This is so sick. Yo. 
Hundred percent buying this Blade Runner uh, book, regardless of price. Um, even if I can't use it for the five dollar game collection, but uh, it's really sick. I'm gonna see if I can get it for four bucks. But it's nice. Uh, Salvation Army is actually quiet, unlike the two Goodwills I've went to. Um, it's really nice. It's like peaceful in here. No one's in here. So shout out to Salvation Army for. Um, I know, maybe it's because it sucks that no one comes here, but this is one of the better finds I've had at a thrift store in a long time. So I'm gonna grab this 100%. It's gonna be a buy right here. No other video games but PS1 games. Uh, just kind of thrown in with the CDs. So yeah, this is gonna be a pickup 100%. for resale. Jesus Christ. These VHS two packs. <laughs> Probably like a Walmart thing. more of them Sable for Mac interesting masterpiece game fantastic game never seen it on Mac though look at those minimum system requirements another Mac game that also came out on PS2 Weird. Alright guys, Salvation Army Clutch Beyond Belief. Um, tried to haggle, of course, because I'm a horrible human being, uh, but I ended up getting both of these for five bucks. So we're, we already broke, we're already, we already ruined five dollar game collection, but uh, I might, what I might do is do a giveaway uh, with this game. I might just give this away right now. Uh, I'll see you guys at the house and we'll talk about it, but I think I'll do a giveaway and then have this be the $5 game collection start because this is going to be, this will be ridiculous. This is going to be a, a perfect start, but uh, let's head home and we'll talk about it there. Legendary anti-Trump guy. Legendary, dude. I'm definitely going to change my political stance because of him. All right, guys, could not have been a better start. Simply could not have been a better start. Uh, maybe even better than last time when I completely cheated, uh, fantastic thrift store day. Um, even though I did cheat literally two hours in, uh, obviously spent six bucks on all this stuff. I'm gonna be giving this away uh, with that. I'm gonna give this away with that Smash Brothers coin from last week. I'm just gonna post a photo on my Instagram. Um, go over there and like the photo and follow my Instagram. It'll be the first and only link in the description. Uh, if you like the photo, I'm gonna random number generate someone that liked the picture. Uh, it's probably just going to be my game room, I think, since I'm kind of a boring person. And uh, I'll send this and I'll send that Smash Bros. coin to you. Uh, if you win the contest, it'll be really easy. Um, so this is the soundtrack for Assassin's Creed Black Flag. 
I loved this game uh, from a from a setting standpoint. I really like the pirates and stuff. Uh, Assassin's Creed's always been kind of an interesting series, but the pirates and stuff really played for me. Um, so this was one buck. Like I said, I kind of haggled. I said, can I get the CD total? Uh, he was like, no, it's a video game. And I'm like, no, nah, it's, it's just a compact disc soundtrack. And he looked inside. And he's like, yeah, sure. So one buck. Uh, this would have been... This would have been risky for the $5 game collection. I'm, I'll be happy to just give it away, but I'm sure anyone that collects video games really is going to want this. I mean, this thing is sick. Look at this artwork. No dents or anything, so this would be a cool giveaway for uh, whoever ends up winning. Again, just link in the Instagram in the description. Just go like the photo of my game room that I'm going to post uh, probably the same day I put this video up. So this is so cool. I'm actually kind of second-guessing giving it away, um, but dope for a dollar. I would have bought this regardless of the $5 game collection or not. Uh, getting into ridiculous, ridiculous thrift store finds. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies probably of the last decade. Uh, if I had to put together a top 10 in the 2010s decade, I think Blade Runner 2049 would be up there. I own it in 4K and I watch it. Probably seen it four or five times in the last three years since it's been out. Uh, fantastic movie visually and then soundtrack and then also just like the sound effects of the cars flying in the sky and stuff just really cool uh thought provoking uh especially with his little cuban girlfriend did she really love him was she programmed to love him blah 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 some really cool thoughts uh and they didn't they, they did their own thing it wasn't just a rehash of the first blade runner they did obviously have harrison ford come back momentarily but uh, I'm blabbering. This thing's selling for quite a bit of money on eBay. I don't know how much this was retail. Oh, no, I do. It was uh, 40 bucks retail, but it looks like it's selling for even more than that on eBay. I was seeing people asking for 55, 60 bucks for it. Uh, I'm gonna keep it factory sealed, but I might keep this. I haven't decided. I might keep this as part of the collection, even though it's not a game. Just because I'm such a fan of the movie, I'd have such a hard time selling it. Uh, but it would it should supercharge our five dollar game collection if I do sell it. It's gonna be a lot of cash. Uh, this will be some cash. Sheep Raider. I uh, didn't even notice it at first. I just saw that Tetris Plus, and you can see it doesn't have the uh, usual PlayStation thing on the side, which is a really easy way to tell PlayStation games. So happy it was on the top. I turned it around and saw that it was a Looney Tunes Sheep Raider game. Uh, sold listings anywhere really from twenty to forty bucks. If this game was complete, it's obviously not. But the disc is in decent shape, uh, and it does have the, I guess we'll call it the back art. So I shouldn't have any problem getting 15 bucks for this, maybe 20 optimistically. Um, and that, that's going to turbocharge our $5 game collection. But perfect day for me. Um, I almost want to just keep this Assassin's Creed thing too because it's so cool, but I'll give it away. Because you guys, you fans have been awesome, especially with this series, man. The feedback's been fantastic. So once again, leave a thumbs up. Let's hit that 500 mark. Today, I know this series is, is just the most popular on the channel by far, and uh, I'm going to try to get all my game hunting into the $5 game collection. Now that hopefully we can get some cash today, and then I can start buying bigger lots, and all of my game hunting is just going to be $5 game collection videos, and we'll see if we can fill up a new bookshelf. Last time it went well. This is, this is a great start, though. This is an incredible start. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better day. Salvation Army really saved the day. So I'll be, I'm out, guys. I'll hopefully be back in the next couple weeks with another $5 game collection video. And uh, I might try to do some other content as well just to mix things up, try to keep myself in the algorithm that I've been out of for years. But anyway, oh, yeah, I, I guess I didn't mention the price. Uh, I did haggle again, and he sold me both of these for 5 bucks. He dropped this price to 5 and then he just gave me the disc um, for 5 So $5 game collection right here. We're starting with these two items, and I'll be giving, doing the giveaway with this. Uh, cheated, but whatever. I'm out, guys. Have a good one, and uh, enjoy the Super Bowl weekend coming up. I'm very excited. Take care, guys.